amazing place. I forgot this is your first time here, Victor. No time to chat. We need to make for the bridge. Victor, you all right? I'm fine. I just wasn't expecting this entire room to start moving. The equipment at the Royal Institute surprised me, but this is something else. So, this is your new ship? You know it. Welcome to the latest in battleship technology. The Charles de Gaulle G. The previous one was a research vessel, whereas this one was built specifically for combat. Thus, it should prove more than capable of taking on Kronos' cruisers. I'm not sure I really get the difference, but both versions sound spectacular. What's the deal? The target is already well within the detection field of our ultra-long-range sensors. According to their data, the ship is heading for the Ampelos system at a speed of warp 14.3. Warp 14.3? That has to be some kind of mistake. It isn't. What's that mean? It means they can travel faster than us. This particular Charles de Gaulle is as advanced as Federation warship technology gets. It boasts a cruising speed of warp 11.2 and a top speed of warp 12.9. Despite all that, our adversaries leave us in the dust because they can travel at warp 14.3. That doesn't make sense. It's only a difference of 1.4, isn't it? A difference in warp speed of magnitude 1.4 equates to them being more than twice as fast as us. Moreover, we can't continuously operate at top speed. Cruising slows us down even further, meaning we could never hope to catch them as long as they keep going. Oh no! Gravitic warp time. That's impossible. The gravitic warp engine is still an experiment. It hasn't even undergone its 24 hour endurance test yet. A real world deployment is tantamount to suicide. That alone doesn't make it impossible, it just makes it not the safest bet. I've managed to establish contact with Dr. Krupp at Remote Station 5. You are too damn good at this. Long time no see, Doctor. Long time indeed, Captain. I hear that you've decided to take the Model G out for a spin. You are indeed a Kenny through and through. Sorry about that, but this ship's imperative to my mission. Well, it has to be tested at some point. Why not make it now? By the way, while I assume there's only one reason you'd contact me at this juncture, let me ask for the hell of it. What do you want? To use gravitic warp. Denied. You're allowed to go a maximum warp speed of 11, and that's only in spurts. You've got to be joking. That's slower than normal warp speed. There's a dangerously high probability that we won't be able to control all the creation energy required to activate the gravitic warp engine. Therefore, we're forced to use the normal warp engine for energy, resulting in the aforementioned lack of speed. As concise and accurate an explanation as ever, Miss Patriciani. Fail to see your issue, Captain. The normal warp engines aboard that cruiser are state-of-the-art. You can go plenty fast. Well, the Kronos ships have a cruising speed of 14.3. What? I was totally unaware they'd come so far with their technology. How fascinating. We've surmised that their tech is likely based on symbometrics. Symbometrics? Huh? You say it directly influences the fundamental composition of matter. Meanwhile, we've barely scratched the surface of that discipline. No wonder they're ahead. We can't disregard the possibility that Kronos is able to repress creation energy, or perhaps a similar type, 
through the use of symbometrics. What do you have there? I'm reviewing the information we recovered from the database inside that facility. It seems, however, that their symbometric research draws heavily upon the principles of Fakrete for signaturgy. I can't grasp much of what's written here. Let me see that data of yours. Although, judging by what you said, I might not be able to understand much of it at the moment. If possible, I'd like to get the opinion of a local expert. Fiore, you've already input all the information I've gathered into that machine. If you want to learn anything new, you should probably ask someone else. Speaking of which, what about asking Cassius? He's probably our best bet. We'll head for this local expert's place immediately, Doctor. Once we're there, you can talk to him directly. Perfect. I'll set it so I can receive transmissions at any time. You know the drill, Anne. Take her with you to the Royal Institute in Langdok. Yes, sir. The rest of us will hold down the fort until they're back. Go check out the ship while we wait. To see if there's any treasure chests or anything. Next, Let's go Parker Bay. back and get them stuff. Let's 
head back to the bridge. soon enough that's wonderful then come to the bridge asap all right <sighs> the two of them get along with each other way too well connect me to dr croup How's it coming along, Doctor? It's done. That's how it's coming, Slowpoke. Already? You never cease to amaze, Doctor. Well, let's cut to the chase. You'll need to both reprogram some aspects of the software and physically apply symbols to the outside of the Gravitic Warp Engine. Imbue the Warp Engine with symbols? I would never have thought of that. It's possible. And I can rewrite the software from here. But the symbols are the real problem. Sadly for you, I'm not a Symbometrics expert. I don't know a thing about how to imbue objects with symbols. Dr. Krupp, can you show me a list of the symbols we need? This is the symbological formula, a copy of which I've sent to your engine room's terminal. pretty intricate, but I should be okay. What? Are you kidding me? They're the same as signets in principle, so... Anyway, I've never done such long and complex ones before, but I'll give it all I've got. Excellent. Say, what was your name again? Fiore. Fiore Brunelli. I'll have to remember that. Very well, let me start rewriting the program. You can faithfully reproduce the formula I sent. We shouldn't have any problems. Got it. View that engine good. Leave it to me. Um, uh, Fiore? Would you mind if I tagged along and watched you imbue the engine? I've never seen anyone imbue an object before, so I can't help but be curious. I suppose it's only natural for a Signaturge to be interested in this kind of thing. Mind if she comes too, Anne? Of course. No objections here. <gasps> yes! You should come with me and see it for yourself, Fidel. You weren't around when I got mine imbued, so I bet you've never seen it performed before, right? What? Uh, I don't know. It can't hurt to acquire some new knowledge. I don't see why you would refuse. She speaks the truth. There's never a reason to turn down a request from a lady. Captain? Oh, ever so. Follow me to the engine room. Deck three. Engine room. This must be the symbological formula he sent. Luckily, I just started researching compound signets and the combinations of base signets that form them. I've tried many different sequences before, but I've never seen anything near this complex. That's stark evidence of how great Chronos' strides in symbological technology have been. And those strides are what led to the creation of Relia and Feria signets? This is the engine room. The Gravitic Warp Engine's core should be right up ahead. The 
it would be dangerous for you to get any closer, so could you please stand back? All right, then. This is it. Okay, Fiore. I'll bring up the symbological formula on this terminal, and you can do the actual imbuing. If you want to view the formula from a different angle, or have any questions at all, please let me know. Thanks. You know, I don't think I'll ever get over feeling nervous when I have to imbue someone else's stuff. Alright, let's get to it. This is what imbuing looks like. And that was our final symbol. <sighs> Thank goodness. It's all over. Congratulations on a job well done, Fiore. Are you okay? I am tired, but I do want to see the results of all this. I suppose we should make our way to the bridge now. Updated the software. Now our fate is squarely in the hands of Lady Luck. I thought you might like to know, Captain, that I've never done this without running months of tests first. If this ends in failure, I'll apologize to you all in heaven. <laughs> I highly doubt that'll be necessary. I'll cut the power to the engine if I see any abnormalities. I see. Shut down regular warp engines. Yes, sir. Shutting down regular warp engines. First, we need to see if it can even start. Now, engage Gravitic Warp Engine. Aye, aye, sir. Engaging the Gravitic Warp Engine. What's going on? Come on. The Gravitic Engine's up and running. Warp 1. All systems normal, and gravitic wave values within predicted limits. First try increasing the speed to warp 5. Warp 5. Yes, sir. Warp 2. 3. 4. And warp 5. There don't seem to be any problems yet. Now it's time for the real test. My calculations say we can safely accelerate to warp 15. Just do it carefully. You heard him. Accelerate to warp 15. Uh, yes, sir. Six, seven, eight, nine. We're now at warp 10, sir. Keep accelerating. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Good so far. Careful. This is the moment of truth. 14.2, 14 14.4, 14.6, 14.8. Warp 15, sir. All systems appear to be normal. Did it turn out okay? Yes. At least it would seem that way. What a feat! It is, isn't it? Yes, oh, we wow. totally did. It's, ridiculous it's ridiculous. success, it's Captain. How magnificent to think that imbuing made this possible. Congratulations, Captain Kenny. The spacecraft is now officially the fastest in the Federation. We're the best. <laughs> Spectacular. Nice. We owe you a huge debt of gratitude, Doctor. No, Fiore is the one you should be thanking, not me. You're truly something special. What do you say to coming to work for me once this thing is over and done with? Thank you. I'll think about it. Of 
According to my readings, there should be no issue with maintaining this speed. You could theoretically go up to 16, but there's not enough data yet to back that claim up. Stay cruising at 15 until we have some more. This should be plenty fast anyway. Keep sending me flight data as you receive. Also, stay vigilant and remember, return to normal space the moment any aberrations occur. Will do. Thanks again for your help, Doc. Troop, over and out. Maintain warp 15. We're going after that chrono ship. Yes, sir. Now plotting our course. At this speed, it shouldn't take long to catch up with them. I doubt they'll take kindly to our presence either. In the event they engage us right after emerging from subspace, get some rest while you can. <laughs> 